listen i have a life lesson to share with you guys like to hear it here it go mm, probably about a month or two ago a couple months ago i stumbled on the sections in my youtube and facebook analytics on the back end where i upload the videos that said something along the line of viewers that watch you also enjoy these channels i'm assuming that as a content creator they want us to have this information so that we can kind of know who our peers are. I'm not going to say competitors because I'm not competitive, but I guess you could look at it that way. But who our peers are, right? And so, for example, on YouTube, people who watch my channel also tend to watch Tony Daly, which makes sense because Tony Daly and I are friends. And I say friends because even though I consider her to be like real cool with me, and I would let this woman stay in my house and I feel like she would let me stay in her. Oh, and I'm wearing her earrings. Mm, I bought these from her the other day and I'm wearing my cute shirt still. <laughs> Even though all of that is true and I almost flew to Canada for her 40th birthday party right before the lockdown, I would have probably gotten stuck in Canada. Um, I've never met her, <laughs> okay? But anyway, we be vibing and so we have a similar audience. That's what Facebook analytics shows me in the background. Facebook analytics also shows it to me or YouTube analytics also shows it to me. The good news is a lot of people that I love to watch are people that my audience loves to watch. Kev on stage, I'm in there with them, which I think is fascinating. Tabitha, I'm in there with her, which I think is fascinating. Um, I can't remember all the others off the top, but there were a few more that were like, hey, I already watch all these people. So that's really cool that you guys are watching them too. It also lets me know that you'll get their jokes, right? Because if I incorporate something that they say or if I bring them up in a joke, I know you guys will get it. All right. But there was a handful of people on both platforms that I did not follow. And I thought to myself, self, if all of my viewers are watching these people predominantly, maybe I will enjoy them as well. So I went in and for the most part, not all, but some of them I followed on both platforms. Well, it's two months later now and I'm just getting to their videos in YouTube. Why? Because I fill my watch later list from my subscription list and I watch in order. I mean, I do skip around and binge some people's content because there's I want. Like if Tony Daly puts up a video, I'm watching it. If Evelyn from the internet puts up a video, I'm watching it. Okay, they skip the watch, watch later line. But other people, I watch them in order and I got other stuff to do, like a day job. So I'm two months behind. Okay, it is September 3rd right now. And I'm watching videos that were put up, let me see, probably two months ago is where I'm at. Oh, I can't see the dates from this view. Let's just say two months ago, okay? And here's the thing. I've tried watching a few of these new people's videos and no, nah, most of them aren't gonna stick. Most of them aren't gonna stick. I give each of them, you know, two or three videos for me to see like if I could get some traction with them. Because a lot of it is feeling like you know them and you like them and then you trust them, right? No like and trust factor. Um, and I don't know them. So the people who are probably going to stick, I'm going to stick it out with a little bit longer. Ironically, I already felt like I knew them in that I already knew of them. There are two people who are vloggers who I already knew of. I was not subscribed to them, but in the ether, I know their name, they know my name. And if we met each other in person, we'd be like, hey, it's you from back in the day, that kind of person. And those two people have been the people who have been most interesting to me. The other people, I just haven't been able to get a lot of traction with. So, so this week specifically, I have been unsubscribing from some of them because there's no reason to force the point. And that is the life lesson that I wanted to share with you guys. Just because everyone else is doing it doesn't mean it's for you. Just because Black Planet says that you match perfectly with some dude doesn't mean he's your husband. Yes, that's a real story. There was a dude who I met way back in the day on Black Planet here in St. Louis. We were cool, we hung out, we had we were like the same. It, we were we were a match. And he even said to me, Black Planet says we are a hundred percent match. And I was just like, but I I just because the Facebook or YouTube YouTube algorithm <laughs> y'all are like where did that come from listen it's part of the lesson just because the YouTube or Facebook robots in the backgrounds have crunched the numbers and said Rushni we think you would like this the same way how sometimes they serve me a weird ad that don't make no sense for me 
it's the same way how just because everybody else is doing it don't mean it's for you. I don't care if every single person is doing it that seems like they are in the space that you want to be in. If it's not for you, it's not for you. God's not going to make you force. God flows. He doesn't force. Okay? That'll preach. God flows. He doesn't force. God's a river. All right? He doesn't, he, he's not. He's gentle. God's a gentleman. He doesn't force. And so... I'm realizing that the life lesson in this is I'm in that season now where like if I watch three, four of your videos, I don't care if you have a big, I mean, some of these people have huge audiences and in the past, old Rushni would have been like, what's wrong with you? Why don't you like this and everybody else likes it? Why aren't you rocking with this person and everybody, like this person has a giant audience, but who cares? Because I am not their audience and I'm not going to cram myself into a space that's not designed for me. Eba shotobalata. Okay. Also, I've also been a person who follows small creators that I love and have watched some of them blow up in front of my, I mean, blow past me. There are so many people who I followed when they had 2000 subscribers, people who I shouted out on my channel back in the day when my channel was way bigger than them, who have blown past me like the Roadrunner, okay? Blew up, all right? I've been following all kinds of people since they had no followers. And since they used to talk to me in the comment section to the point that now they on magazine covers and they write in best selling books and they out here in the world and blew, blew up. OK, um, so I'm going to curate my experiences. I'm going to curate my timeline for the people who speak to me and who I am actually getting value from on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, on all the things. I'm going to remove the things that are clutter. I'm not going and nobody is clutter. All humans are value. I'm just saying for what I want to consume, it might be clutter. I'm going to let it go and I'm going to learn the lesson that just because everybody else is jumping off a bridge <laughs> don't mean that I have to because it's just not a good fit. I'm going to flow. I'm going to flow. All right. Time to work. Be well. Be encouraged. Here's a blurry pineapple in the background on a dirty bed that I need to pick up. Not dirty, but like cluttered with my stuff because office. Bye, y'all.